Hello. In this video, we are going to, to take a look at the Google Sheets add-on called Form Mule. This add-on is very useful for anyone that wants to take information from uh, a Google Form and turn around and have an email sent with that information. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is just a quick registration form with an email confirmation to the person filling out that form. So, first thing we're going to do is open up our web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this video. And we are going to go to our Google Drive. Drive.google.com Alright, I'm going to create a new form. We'll go ahead and give it a name. Okay, so normally your first question is going to be name. I'm just going to do a real simple one here. We're going to need an email address to send it to. And let's go ahead and give them a couple different choices here. All right, so there we have our quick form. That's all we need. Uh, just change a couple of these. Okay, now we can go ahead and take a look at the live form. Simple, simple registration form. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is go ahead and look at the responses. To kind of demo it here, I'll go ahead and uh, put in some stuff. And I'll choose a workshop, submit. All right, now you can see we have a response. So we need to go look at the uh, responses. And this will take you to the Google spreadsheet. And here we can see the response has come in. Next thing I'm going to do once it finishes loading here is I'm going to go and get the add-on that we need. This specific add-on is called Form Mule. F O R M space M U L E. And here we can see it's got the mule on it. It's by the great folks at New Visions for Public Schools. And we'll go ahead and install that add-on by clicking the free button, giving it the permission it's asking for. Always be sure to take a look at these and make sure you agree with it. Okay, now you'll see it pops up with saddle up and be prepared for Form Mule to take your workflow to the next level. Hook up any Google Forms destination sheet or other data sheet and set up one or more email templates to send, manually in bulk or automatically on Form Submit. So let's go ahead and open it up. We need to start from the beginning with setup. first screen that comes up here is asking us to select a sheet. So as you'll notice down here, we have Form Responses 1. That is the uh, default name that Google Sheets gives. So we need to select that. And here we have Form Trigger or Time Trigger. Uh, I 
particularly like to use the form trigger. That way, when every, whenever somebody submits a new form, it will go ahead and gather the information and immediately send it out. So I'm going to turn that on for this demonstration. I welcome you to go ahead and play around with the time trigger. Uh, every form that you make might have different uses for either one of these triggers. Uh, one of the neat things is you can also uh, log a case number for each submission and log the edit URL for each form submission. Uh, case number would be very beneficial for a tech person in a school that may be looking to have uh, auto-generated forms for uh, their work problems that come up to have teachers uh, submit a help desk request. So next I want to go to templates and send conditions. Here you can have multiple different uh, email templates. For this video I'm just going to go ahead and use one. We'll have template one will be the name and you can have send conditions so it will only send if there's specific information in these but we don't need that for this video. So I'll go ahead and save. Next, we need to edit the template. If you noticed in the background here, it has added a template one send status column to our spreadsheet. So I'll edit our templates. Okay, if you had multiple templates, they would all be listed in here. And it's as simple as clicking inside the box. So two, we want to go to the email address. We're going to send a confirmation to uh, the people that respond to this form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on email address. And then you can also have it sent to yourself if you wanted. Just under CC or BCC, you can just type in your email address. Uh, reply to, if you want to accept responses from these emails, it's a good idea to go ahead and put your own email address in here so that they can respond to you with any questions. Subject. Okay, and in the body. I want to have the person's name, so I'll click on name. And this is how it's going to be. If you have name written right here, they're going to see hello name and then their actual name using the merge tag here. I don't want that in this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete name. But I do want to have the merge tag, so I'll go ahead and put the colon after that. Okay. All right, and that's all I really need to do for this. I'll go ahead and preview and send all. So it's going to come back. And here is the uh, the preview. So it's going to the email address I typed in and choosing the template that I just uh, demonstrated there. I'll go ahead and hit send now. All right, so there we can see an email was sent. So let's go ahead and go check our Gmail. Okay, and here we see the email with the information that I typed in. Okay, now let's take a look as it goes from live. Go ahead and delete this email. We'll have it in a separate window. Different workshop. We'll go ahead and hit submit. 
here we can see the data has come in it should automatically trigger there you can see the email has been sent and just like that it's over here in my inbox and there we go it's as simple as that it's a very handy tool to use in your classroom um, many 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 different uses out there just be creative with it a great tool for you and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and that's all. Have a good day.